vlog number two. We have a visitor. Uh, he keeps cat napping, so he's out here with us until he falls asleep, and then he'll be bye bye. Can you say hi, Levi? Anyway. <laughs> All right, so last vlog, what did we talk about? 2020 goals, uh, fitness goals. Being and organized. Being organized, getting into a routine. And I will say the chore chart that you made helped a lot. Yeah, like this week, we really stayed on target, I guess, with every day, all the chores that we had to do. Um, so we actually ended up throwing a birthday party for our son, Forrest. He turned four on Friday. Black Panther. So that's why we have another visitor. Forgot to mention the protector of Wakanda. Son, bro. <laughs> so actually, normally when we have birthday parties, it's kind of like a stressor. Um, just because he has stressor so much to do. for Megan. Yeah. Because well, she doesn't know, know. how it is. She doesn't months. know how to chillax. Okay. Throwing a party is intense, and if you chillax, then everything is haywire. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so everything ran without a hitch, but it also came smoothly, and it didn't feel like stress because we kept up with the house all week. So the day of the party, we really just had to set up. Um, I don't know. It was fun. It. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the paint party. Yeah, it was so cute. Which I was opposed to the idea at first, because I'm like, paint, kids, no, inside, no. But it was cool. It was fun. They had fun. Yeah. And you get to see their creative outlet. You know, that's, that's always cool. So, fitness goals. How do you feel like you did this week with your I did, fitness? I did pretty good this week. I got my meals in. I could drink more water. Uh, I got my workouts in. And uh, I feel like I'm on the right track, you know? I'm starting to feel like myself again. Welcome to five. What about you? <laughs> I know about you. Okay. Anyways. So, I'm all about 100% transparency. Transparency. Hmm. Honesty, you know, uh, last time we did our vlog, I talked about staying consistent Not for deviating two weeks. from my meal plan at all, 100%. <laughs> Two weeks. It's two weeks, right? <laughs> I can do that. So after I was going to do two weeks of not deviating from my meal plan, I was going to start working out. Well, I guess planning that party was kind of a stress because I drank. <laughs> and I had a piece of cake, so sue me, you know. But and I, ice cream. Oh, yeah, and some ice cream. It was like one of those tiny little bluebell ones. And wait, I'll be right back. Levi. She just That's cut this slice. Dad. She just cut this slice tonight. So I don't know. I mean, you know, I guess she's uh, starting on Monday. No, okay, so that's the thing. I'm not going to start over because, okay, I slipped up. I'm human. Whatever it happens, like even if people are trying to make you feel bad about it. Wait, 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 wait. You're not going to start over? I'm not going to start over in terms of having to do another week of straight, clean you eating. You should because. What you said was two weeks not deviating from the plan. So if you can deviate and count that as two weeks, then you're going to cheat I'm, yourself in a workout. It says four says, I'll do three and it's fine. No. Sometimes it's fine to just do three it's when not you, it fine. says four. It's not fine. I think it is. I think you need to and go back. And I think back. that if I take another week, then I'm really just pushing away, pushing off my fitness. Like, I yeah, want to get started in the gym. Your fitness means nothing if you don't eat right. Those workouts mean nothing if you don't eat right. So, I think the two weeks not deviating was perfect plan. Now, if you can't do that, <laughs> <laughs> we might need to reevaluate this whole thing. Fine. Sounds like I'm starting over. So, wish me luck. Next two weeks. Hopefully, nobody's birthday comes up. Um, next. More reading. Less social. What books have you started? I started no books. Okay. So I looked at the books on the you. book shelf a few times, and uh, I just didn't start any of them. I need a fourth. I looked up. <laughs> I looked up uh, the Nipsey Hustle book club thing. You know I'm all just the kidding. books. You probably do. I'm joking. All the books on. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, 
Deviate. Starts tomorrow. All the books on Nipsey Hussle's book club. I've seen some that I might want to, you know, check out. And, but I'm going to start with the books on our bookcase because I'm going to reread those, get a refresher. A lot of them are John C. Maxwell. Love, love John C. Maxwell. Uh, really helps you get your mind right, especially for entrepreneurs and people with the big dreams. Uh, what book have you started? Um, so I've been reading that oh, one yeah, book, yeah, right, but right. I haven't finished it yet. I started what, it in 2019. Book? What's the book called? It is called, wow, your sister got it for me for my birthday, Okay. and it's by Elaine Wentworth. Okay, what you're reading? I'm reading. Cool. Have you decreased some of the social media scrolling? I think I still have that habit of going to it, but I'm more aware when I'm in it, like, let's get out, let's, yeah, yeah. yeah. so me I too. feel like I'm like, up. I'm scrolling, put mm -hmm. your phone down. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Cool. So this video we're gonna talk, talk about, about and touch base on how we met. For those of you who don't know us, I she guess. was Megan Green when I met her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you changed my last name. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll tell you guys a little bit about that and how this one came into the place. Just kidding, not that part. But anyway, <laughs> I was about to say. Man, <laughs> that's a lot. Okay. So. I played Division One college basketball. For, As did I. Yes. So, it's my okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear something. You gotta spit up for us. Oh. Yes. So we edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> so I played Division One college basketball. So I've always been an athlete. I've been in shape. I've had practices to go to. Um, whatever the case might have been. But when I graduated, I no longer had that set exercise time and I kind of got away from fitness for a while. You know, I would do some things here and there in the gym, but it wasn't the same. It wasn't ever consistent enough. Like I was going from five days a week practicing to maybe I'll hit the treadmill, maybe I'll go run a couple miles, like maybe I'll lift weights, but with no plan. Hey, hey. Hey. And I was drinking a lot and just having a good time. I was being, what, 23? Was it 23? So I ended up messaging my best friend telling her, bro, I'm fat. Because I, I remember exactly when it happened. I was in the bathtub with my glass of wine. And it was over there. So I was like, oh, let me go get it. So I reached to go get it. I, of course, had a normal roll. I think that's natural. But what happened was the another one like popped up on top of it, and I was like, "You had the double roll." Oh no, this has never happened before. Like it's time to get a hold of myself. Yeah. Uh -oh. So I messaged my friend. I'm like, oh, "I'm about to get a trainer. Like, why not?" You know, at that time I didn't have too many responsibilities, just an apartment. But I was making pretty decent money, and I was ready to commit to myself. So she sends me this Instagram page of some person I've never heard of. And she was like, this is him. Like, he does really good work. Just check him out. And so I looked through his Instagram. And I noticed some guy with, like, bricks all over his chest. And I was just like, what? It's like, bricks? Okay. So I'm like, yeah, sounds good. Um, <laughs> I'll call him on Monday. She was like, no, text him now. I was like, I don't even have his number. So boom, she sends me his number. I'm like, damn. Fine. I have no excuses. So I sent him a text. I'm like, hey, I'm interested in starting on Monday. We talk. He asked me about like she general up, questions. She I guess. set it up. We set up the sessions. She signed up for four times a week, the maximum package. So I'm like, okay, she's serious. Whatever, so right? Serious. And when she signed <laughs> up, I discovered her Instagram also, and I text a friend. <laughs> This is my new client. I'm gonna marry her. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's inappropriate and you shouldn't think that because it's a business type thing, but uh, maybe I just knew. So then my first workout, what'd you know then? After the first workout, I thought the married thing definitely was not gonna happen because she didn't even look at me. 
So we go through the workout, you know, we're warming up on the treadmill, it's facing a wall, and I'm standing right on next to her, you know, talking to her, trying to, you know, fill out what she's trying to do with her body, what's her goals, and she's talking, but she never looks over and looks me in the face. But that happened on the first workout, and the second workout, and the third workout. In the fourth workout, like and it's the like the whole row. the whole week she didn't even look at me. <laughs> like, this is this is interesting, but she was putting in work. She was going hard, so no complaints, whatever. Oh my gosh, people I'm are so rude. Serious. People are rude, you know. That's it's what not I got a rude from. thing. That's what I got from it. For okay? me, it was like laser focus. It's like those horses that run the race. Like you got these blinders on because oh I'm not worried gosh. about nothing but losing Anyways, this weight. That's what happened, and then as time went on, she eventually took a glance at me. And started talking a little bit here and there. Because I was losing, sessions. I was losing weight. I was, yeah, yeah, it was coming off. It was coming off. I was getting more comfortable. I was like, okay, I can relax a little bit. I don't have to be as laser focused. Like, we started chopping it up, and I was like, oh, he's funny. You know, we would just talk. Like, I think I was telling him. She was telling everything. me all her business, <laughs> and that's what I liked. Cause I was like, she's an open book. Cause she's telling me some, some shit. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, okay, you know. So, <laughs> so like we say, conversation really just goes. But how much weight did you lose in how much time? Okay, so by the end of the first month training with him, I lost 19 pounds. I wanted to lose 25. I told him when I first got there, I'm pretty much just going to do this for maybe one or two months, that's it, just to jumpstart me, because I know what I'm doing. She didn't know she was in there for life. <laughs> I had no idea, obviously. So, I did lose that 19 pounds in a month, and after about a month training, no, not even that long, maybe about three weeks, we... I was leaving one Friday or something, oh, yeah. and I was like, like uh, so what you about to do? I said, why you ain't coming? He was like, that's why I'm asking. That's why I asked. I'm going to come through. I was like, I'm okay. So I invited him to my house party. I meet an Addie. I walk up in there. Oh, my gosh. I see some people I know that I didn't even know knew her. What up, y'all? Blah, blah, blah. We all chilled that night, and then I didn't go home. We just talked all night, yeah. getting to know each other more in depth. Yeah, like him and I found our way to the patio and we were just out there talking for like six and a half hours straight and the party was still going on but we were just in our own world and then yeah he stayed the night and then we just hung out talked more fell asleep with the sunrise damn near and he had to leave because he had like a, a client that morning a client i was and on the had grind a, yeah he had a meeting that day too for some of your clients you were doing some like uh -huh. so i had of course, a workout schedule too. So I just left, and on the way out the door, he kissed me goodnight or good morning or whatever that good was. Good morning, future <laughs> bay. And then, yeah, we literally have been inseparable ever since. We have stayed every single night together since then. Well, you did go to Atlanta once. Except I had a trip already scheduled to Atlanta. Right when we met, I left in February for my best friend's birthday. Then after that, it was. Non-stop on and popping for a long time. Yeah, and then it was actually pretty crazy because four months into our relationship, we started living together. Yeah, like so. I don't know. People are like, "Is that quick?" I don't know. I feel I like know. you can't put a time on things I, when you know you just know. It's the situation. It's all situational. You know? Yeah, because if I heard somebody else being like, oh, we're moving in and it's been four months, I'd be like, okay. But I don't think anyone that knows us ever questioned it. No, man, they didn't. Like, we were talking to his dad yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> and he was giving marital advice to my sister-in-law. And I was like, well, where was all this advice when we got married? Like, you've never given us any marital advice. And he was like, all right, let me tell you something about you two. Let me tell you something about these two talking to my sister-in-law. Sometimes you come across that couple... And they just an anomaly. They just different. He didn't say anomaly. He yeah, definitely didn't say anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> but that was what he meant. I'm just like giving it more vocab. He was like, they just special, and it's because uh, it's because uh, they both throw the hell off. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I was like, yeah, that that's actually what, sounds. That's why it works, right? But yeah, ever since you know I was his client, 
So then there is another part of this story that Drew does not want me to tell, but again, 100% false. transparency. 100% That's false. me. I'm going to keep it real. 100% false is this story. Okay. So when he first started in his gym, he didn't have as much equipment as he does now. So he would have to like legit engineer these exercises to where it did the same thing as a piece of machine would. Um, so I had to do like, what were they called? The back extensions hyper extensions so instead of having that machine there was like a exercise ball so you lay on the exercise ball a little far up to where your whole you know torso is off the ball and it's wobbly obviously so there needs to be something to keep your body sturdy for you to be able to extend so what does he put there? Well, his own legs, right? So I'm my hands, on the ball. My hands, I was holding my leg, her legs with my hands. I was on my Babe, knees. if you lie, they can't picture it. I was it. on my knees, holding her legs with my hands. And her, you were holding my ankles. lower back with your hands and no, your no, 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 knees no, 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 were on no, my ankles. No, 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 no. I wasn't holding your lower back. I was holding your legs, you yeah, like right below your calves with my hands. The rest of your legs went between my legs. So how did I, so I go to start, I'm like, I'm just laying there, right? And I know what the exercise is. I know I'm supposed to start and I just don't. I'm just laying the there. The false anyway. I don't even know why. Uh, okay. And I just what? And he was like, go. Oh. And I was like, I can't. Yeah, I was like, it's time to work out <laughs> like, right now. Well, I was like, mm, your dick's on my leg. <laughs> and then that's when I knew I was going to marry him, if you know what I mean. I still, I mean, she said that. And all that oh was all God. said, but that. It happened. She was confused. I wasn't confused. He just was <laughs> ready to get closer. Anywho. Anywho, now Levi's here and Forrest, so yeah, Forrest and Levi. am I really lying? No, you weren't, I guess. My mom even knows the story. Yeah, because you tell and it all the time when it's a bunch of people <laughs> to make me look like some type of... What? Some type of pervert trainer. Like, hey, <laughs> and that is like, I understand. Yeah, but whatever, it could have been a mistake. Okay. And you took it there. Or, okay. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's how we met. Yes. I love you. And then I really, you know, you got to make it official. It was February 3rd. And I was like, so let's make this thing official. You're my girl, you know, my boyfriend. She was like, ah, I don't really do odd numbers. So ask me tomorrow <laughs> on the 4th. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And now, February 4th. February 4th. Our, That's our day. Uh, our anniversary. Wedding and dating. Yeah. Yeah. We got married on our three-year anniversary of dating. Yep. So that's you. us. The Washington. <laughs> nice to meet you. Levi, I guess you stayed awake during the entire video. Yeah. It is what it is. All right, until next time, guys. Leave any comments, questions, suggestions, whatever you'd like. And in. make sure you yes, subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, we'll have more content next time. And if you have any video topics that you'd like us to go over or talk about, let us know. Because yeah. we're just brainstorming here. All right, peace out.